On today's episode, we're gonna give away that Union Jack guitar, and you're gonna see whose broken leg this is. It's been a crazy week. Let's go for a trip. If you'd like to follow the process of turning a block of wood like this into a guitar like this, then you've come to the right place. And if you would like to see me give this guitar away, click subscribe, hit the bell. is still up for grabs. So I'm still taking nominations on this guitar. Hoping anyway in the next month to month and a half that this one will be finished and I'll be able to give this away too. So I've got to get this guitar finished this week. Well this may or may not surprise you but I've decided I am not going to use the grain filler. I think after spraying it here and looking at it again with a satin finish I like the way the grain looks. I'm not gonna fill it. I'm gonna just use 600 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna do some wet sanding, lightly sand, let it dry good, and then I will continue to spray. I've given it its last spray, and now I just need to really get to work and try and get this thing put together. So I will first be, after I spray, I make sure to ream out the holes that are here uh, with just a, a, a small round file, make sure those are clear and everything can move like it needs to. Obviously gotta take the tape off, gotta sand my edges there and get it all set up. So quick montage of me working on this. I'll show very quickly uh, just how I set this up. Uh, this is a 24 and 3 quarter inch neck. So from the nut to the front of my saddle, where the saddle will come to, should be 24 and 3 quarters. All right, next day, change of clothes. Good thing, right? Uh, got some fine sandpaper here. This is actually 1500 grit, and I'm gonna go along this ridge that I've been telling you about that's gonna be left from the polyurethane and where the tape met. So just gotta do a little sanding. I decided that it's rough enough that I'm gonna move it up to a 600 grit and then I will work it back up to a 1,000 or 1,500 grit. Uh, another way to do this is to use a razor blade and scrape it. I, I'm just not real comfortable with doing that yet. And I know, I know I see guys that do a really good job doing it that way. I know it can be quicker, but uh, I don't know. I'm just too afraid that my hand's gonna slip and I'm gonna just take a big old cut or gouge out of it. So I'm still doing it the way, the way that I know how that I won't completely destroy this. So at some point I'll learn to do it that way. Finding that I need to bore this hole out just a little bit further uh, so that this goes in just a little bit easier. And I wanna show you a trick Instead of having the bit go the way you would drill into it, actually run the bit backwards. If I go backwards with it, it's still gonna drill the hole without pulling the wood up. Watch. 
like that. Now you normally wouldn't drill that way if you're gonna drill into a piece of wood, but what I'm doing is I'm saving it from pulling wood chunks up so I don't chip out the edges. Run it backwards and it'll still, as long as you just keep gradually getting a little bit bigger, it'll still drill out that portion. Is that kind of cool? It is early the next morning and I am just getting ready to take off for work, but I had to string it up this morning because I was getting really close. So I've done that, I've tuned it, but I haven't plugged it in yet. So first sounds of this guitar. We're gonna start up here on the neck pickup. Now I don't have anything adjusted. I put the strings on, it's not intonated. I don't have the, the, the right nut that'll be there. Um, Nothing's adjusted. First sounds. It works. That's a good thing. All right, the wash is going in the background, so it might have a little bit of extra noise back there, but I think I pretty much have it intonated. So it's pretty much intonated now. close here let me I'm gonna have to get the back plate done get the truss rod cover on make sure that my truss rod is adjusted okay We're now headed on a, I think it's gonna be around a 13 hour drive, 12 to 14 hour drive, to go give this Union Jack burst guitar away. Let's go do this, should be a lot of fun. We're a couple of hours down the road now and a couple of scenarios that I have in my mind as to how this might play out. So we have got it set up with Doug and his wife, Rachel, that we are going to meet them for lunch, wanting to hear about the work that they're doing in London, which is true. We want to hear about what they're doing in, in London. Uh, they work for an organization called Reach Global, and so their understanding is that we're coming through and we're gonna have lunch with them and, and hear about what, what they're doing over in the UK. So the one scenario that I've got is I'm gonna talk with the waitresses ahead of time and see if we can put the guitar somewhere behind the counter somewhere. I would have them bring me my dessert, they'll bring him his dessert and they'll put the guitar in front of him on the table. That's one of the scenarios. That's what I envision. It may or may not play out like that at all. I guess we're gonna find out. I don't know if you can see me, it's dark, but slight change of plans, perhaps. We just got a call that our son broke his leg. And it's a strange thing, but he's actually half an hour away from where we are, which is a, which is a good thing. He was 
So our son was playing soccer with some friends in the park and uh, he's our adult son. 21? 22. Just about 22. Just about 22. Anyway, he caught the ball with his legs and came down on his ankle wrong and it sounds like he probably broke it and is headed to the hospital. And so since we are actually nearby where he is at, we are headed there to meet up with him. Uh, never know what a day might bring, huh? So this is my son. Hi. Want to tell us what happened today? Lost my foot. <laughs> well, we got it back. Yeah, after a bit. Uh, I came to Wisconsin to uh, to celebrate my uh, friend's engagement, and we got ice cream, and then we went to a park to play soccer, and he kicked the soccer ball to me, and I tried to catch it with my feet. There's going to be four of us at 11 o'clock, but I've got to ask a favor. All right. So I'm going to be giving this guitar away to a guy. Okay. Today. And what I'd like to do is have you tuck us somewhere a little bit more quiet, possibly. Like the corner in mind. Yeah. Okay. And then keep this back here somewhere. Oh. We're going to eat. We're going to have a conversation. Just with casual. Them. Casual. Yeah. And then come out and ask us if we want a dessert. We will order dessert. Okay. Whether or not they do, that's another thing. Okay. But then when you bring the dessert, you bring dessert to me first, okay. to us, and then bring the guitar out for his dessert. Okay. okay. I like that. Or with his dessert. Right. Either yeah, however it works. One. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, maybe let it. your coworkers know. If they Everybody see it. to so know the secret. Like, so, hey, you know, yeah. what is this? And then if we can, I'll just yes. give this to somebody to tuck Somewhere. away. I mean, you can. Oh, great. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. But even though you didn't technically order dessert, you have dessert anyway. This is for you. It's oh not for me, goodness. though. That's, yeah. Seriously? What? Yeah, seriously. It's not a Gibson. It says Gibson there, but it's one that I thank made, you. too. Yeah, oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, let me, um, so it's one that I just finished up. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. That's amazing. So, thank you. Wow. So. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm speechless. Thank you. It's the fight for joy. Wow. So that is it's so like, cool. This is yeah, good. Yeah. Um, stuff, so. What's a gorgeous instrument. Thank you. I was down to the wire. It's like we knew you were leaving. So there's like a few little flaws in the finish and stuff that had I had an extra week or two, I would have been like really. I was like, okay, I just gotta, gotta get that. This it's is amazing. So, thank you so much. Awesome. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Uh, so, so did you see it, Rachel? Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> oh yeah, I yeah. see the yeah. That's amazing. Wow. So yep, yeah, so your son nominated you. Oh that's and, really cool. So I'm calling it a union jack by the way, yeah. even though it hasn't been flown at sea. It does have a quarter inch jack on it. <laughs> so I'm like it's a union jack. <laughs> jack. Yeah. So it's my union jack first. Oh, that's so, so sweet. That's, that's wow. Really awesome. Thank, wow. You. Thank you so much. And I'm recording you, obviously. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> like embarrassing. So people can but see I, this yeah, guy. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah. oh, that is so, so cool. cool. So, wow. Yeah. wow. It's my job. I know what I'll be doing. Our pleasure. I know. I know. I know. Well, <laughs> Elijah too. He'll be like, can I try it? <laughs> and I'll tell him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When it's she amazing. said we have yeah. a dessert, I'm like, no, we really don't want yeah. a dessert. <laughs> <laughs> we just pulled back into Minnesota, which means we've got about five hours of driving yet before we get to our house, which is on the other side of the state. I am driving Alex's car, that's my son. If you're wondering a little bit more about what took place, what happened, uh, so Alex was. Alex had driven to the same area that we had driven, which is a long ways from our house, but he had gone a few hours before we did. 
he left to go spend some time with some college friends to meet up. And we happened to be going to uh, really close to the same place. And we were about a half hour from him when we got the call that he said he broke his leg. Well, we got to the hospital and they finally we were able to go in, go into his room and man, it, it looked bad. His, his foot was like way pushed off to the side of his leg. And the doctor, who was great, fantastic doctor, comes in and he's talking to us. And he kind of gives gets us prepared. He says that, um, he says with, with breaks that are this bad, you're typically looking at having surgery. When the doctor was saying this to us, uh, this was prior to the very first x-rays coming back. So the x-rays come back and the doctor takes a look at them and he says that the way it looks is that there might not be any broken bones but that all of the bones basically came out of the socket and moved over so that it was a severe dislocation of his foot. Um, and so they put him on some really strong medication and we stepped out of the room and the doctor moved it, moved his foot back into place. Um, you know, we were just praying that he wasn't going to have to have surgery and that it could just be something like this move back in. Well, the doctor comes out to us and said that it moved back into place actually kind of easy. Um, it's still, you know, I mean, so it wasn't technically broken bones, but he definitely wasn't fixed. He was broken. Um, those bones were not where they were supposed to be. And so they manipulated the bones back into place. And, you know, at this point, I guess I'm not sure what, uh, damage or might be to any ligaments or tendons that type of damage uh, but they put a cast on him and we stayed in the hotel we gave him a day to kind of rest and now we're heading home and I'm driving his car and my wife Marnie is driving with him in the other vehicle he's got his leg propped up and we're on our way back in the meantime while his friends were hanging out with him in the hotel room for a little while we were able to go and give that guitar away it was really uh it was really fun to see the reaction on his face as he got the guitar he, he didn't know that it was coming and yeah a lot of fun to be able to give him the the union jack burst guitar to take back with him the reason why i had to get it done this last week is they are flying back this week and i needed to get it to him before they left for England. There's the story wrapped up. Hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been an adventure. Yesterday was a long week <laughs> and uh, I'm just glad my son's okay, that he didn't have to have surgery. I mean, he's not okay, okay, but he'll be okay. And that's a good thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check in next time. Keep fighting for joy, guys. Turn up the volume on grace and mercy and joy. Turn down the volume on all the junk. Let's keep putting one foot in front of the other, or in Alex's case, one crutch in front of the other, and we will make it on this life's journey. Catch you next time, guys. See you later. Bye.